guys, today we are talking about one of my favorite products of all time, Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is not the foundation and it is not highlighter, but it kind of works as like a hybrid of both of them. And today we're going to be showing you three different ways on how to use this product. Um, I think there are like five different shades of it. Um, I kind of oscillate between number two and number three, depending on summer or winter. Um, and the first way I'm going to talk about how you can wear it is when you just mix it with your favorite foundation. Um, today I've mixed it with Charlotte Tilbury's foundation, but you can take any foundation that you have and you like. You basically um, open it up and it comes like on this wand. And if you would put your foundation on the back of your hand and add a little bit of the Flawless Filter, mix them together, and it kind of gives like a little bit of a sheen of a, a dewy look um, to your foundation. I'm wearing, um, like I said, I've, I've mixed them both together. So if I turn my head like this, I don't have any extra highlighter, no powder highlighter like I usually do. Um, and you can see like my skin just has a little bit of like a glow to it. And that's just by adding a little bit of this flawless filter to my foundation. And I'm going to show you two more ways to apply it. The second way I wanted to show you guys how to wear it is just on its own. So if you are a person who doesn't particularly like wearing a lot of makeup or like wearing foundation, we have Shayna to represent this type of person. I like and eye makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to basically be that's showing it. you guys um, what it looks like. Um, like I said, this isn't a foundation, but it does have, have some coverage. But it's more about that finish that's like a light, um, luminous finish. It doesn't cover up as much as some um, thicker, heavier duty foundations. So what I do is I basically just take it, put it on the back of my hand, and then I take a foundation brush like this, dip it in, and then usually you want to start in the middle of your face. Oh, okay. No, just because um, then it's easier to blend out. If oh. you start here and you start blending, then you get your hair all... All right. Okay, so on me, I have foundation and the flawless filter, and on Shayna, she has just the flawless filter. Um, I was gonna say foundation. It's not foundation, but you can tell like she has a little bit more breathing room on her skin. You can um, see her actual skin underneath. It's not masked like, like mine. Um, so it just it provides like a little bit of coverage, but it lets your like your real skin shine through, and it still gives you that. Um, it that does luminous. Yeah. That it feels like nothing. Yeah, it feels, it like, feels like nothing, but it, it looks glowy. It looks it glowy. Pretty. So for our third option with the Flawless Filter, um, we're going to show you how to use it just as a spot highlighter. Um, if you take, do the same thing, you're going to put it on the back of your hand. This is just the easiest way to apply it. Because honestly, if you use the wand, it's just too much product. And you want to have more control than that. So put it on the back of your hand, like so and use your ring finger to just dip it in. Start with a little bit of product. It's always easier to add more than it is to try to take away. And so we're gonna just put it where we normally put highlighter, which is just like on the top of the cheekbone here. We're gonna apply it right here and we're gonna blend. So I'm going on the top of her cheekbone and I'm blending like up into the temple and down into her cheek. And so if you turn that way, you can see with the light, we're gonna turn her this. You can see um, the highlight right here. So this is very specifically when you want to maybe have your uh, cheekbones pop. Um, you can put it, I have it on the back of my hand, so you can put it on the top of your eyebrow right here and then have that um, brow bone pop and then the tip of your nose. And then right above the cupid's bow. I don't know what that's so, called. Cupid's bow. Yeah. Cupid's so bow. right, so right here, here, underneath your eyebrow, and then just on the top of your cheekbones. Those are the places to just kind of um, specifically highlight with this. It's a little bit of a. It's it's not as intense as using an actual like powder glittery highlighter. So if you want just a little bit more of a subtle glow, you can use this um, flawless filter to, like I said, to go in those in those spots to kind of just highlight in a subtle, less in your face way. 
<laughs> Alright, so here we have three different ways to wear this flawless filter. I have mixed it with my foundation. Shana is wearing it on its own. And Lex is having, or is the model for spot highlighting. Spot highlighting. The parts of it's, your face that you want. Thing. So, All right. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> so is this kind of like a BB cream or no? <laughs> no, so it's like foundation for people who hate foundation. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a BB cream? No. <laughs> what is this for? Does this make my boobs bigger? <laughs>